video, I'm going to show you how to use um, Swift 3 and to parse some JSON from a remote website and to um, you know be able to manipulate it. Um, in the example I'm going to use, I'm actually going to show you how to uh, uh, display an image from a URL. So I have this uh, JSON file on my server. This is pretty standard um, looking JSON file. Um, you have the resultant data that heads it off. Usually you do see that. And um, then we have the individual uh, pieces of information. And in this instance, there's four um, uh, pieces of information, if you will, uh, separated in curly brackets. And each of those pieces of information has uh, sub information inside of it. For we get the president num, like basically a dictionary. President num, um, and you know, in this instance, I started 42. The name, Bill Clinton, and image. And this is the uh, um, public um, uh, image of uh, Clinton from uh, Wikimedia. And then I do it for Bush, Obama, and Trump. And so it's just a small bit of information, but it's the same process, whether no matter how much information. Um, so let me go over the code. What I have going on here is um, this is going to be where we're going to hold that information, this uh, variable called JSON. Um, I have a button in um, and an image that I display to the screen uh, just for purposes of showing you how you could use this information. Right? Um, in the view did load, we just uh, display our button to the screen. We uh, create an image, but we don't show it until I click the button. Um, this is the uh, when the button is clicked. Um, we will go and call the next download um, method, which I'll show you um, in a little bit. So here's the URL to our JSON file. And now here's our um, method that does all the work for the uh, um, for um, determining uh, deserializing your uh, JSON um, object, and that is called in the view did load. So that gets called first. And so what we go, what we do is we go down, we um, um, take a look at the URL and prepare it to use in a URL session. Um, this is really what uh, kind of calls to the web and is returned with this data variable. That's the important one that we're going to use. And this line here is we use the built-in function from uh, Xcode called JSON serialization. And you know we have the data variable right there. And that basically um, processes the JSON and saves it to our object that we created uh, the first line right here, right? And so we have that, and then we need to be able to manipulate it. And so I save um, everything to this my data um, variable, and <coughs> I get this um, integer here called me count just to um, save the, how many objects there are within that. And I remember there were four, and so. I actually subtract one so that I can use it in a for loop because remember it's zero base, so it's zero, one, two, three. And so that's that's what this is representing three. So this is a for loop that's gonna go through the whole thing. And we this is how we get the individual line. Um, index represents the zero, one, two, and three. So each time through, like first time through, this is equal to zero. It's gonna take a look at that one line. And then this is how we can um, individually look at the pieces of inf information within that line. And remember what I said before, there's three bits of information, name, president, nom, and um, Im image. And so uh, you can treat that like a dictionary uh, at that point. Just you, you know, If you put the name um, in there, it will print the name um, associated with it right here, right? And so when I run this, you'll see it'll print to the screen each of the lines of um, the JSON object. All right, and so uh, that's really the bulk of this. I, this I just kind of threw in here so you can see how you could possibly uh, use it. And so when you click on the button, that comes down to this next download function, and we get a um, 
Uh, we, we do the same thing where we just save how many lines are in our JSON file. That's right there, right? And then I get a random number based on that. And so this will produce um, arc for random uniform will produce a random number between zero and three because uh, me count is equal to three. Um, I just print that number to screen so you can see it. And then we just get the information um, from the JSON object. And then we, in particular, we get that one line using the random num right there. And for displaying an image, we want to actually grab um, the URL of the image, and that's represented by my line and in square brackets, IMG. Right? And then this is, you know, I've showed you how to do this before. This is just a quick little um, bit of code for downloading uh, an image from the web. And then we just add it to our um, uh, UI image view. So that's it. It's really not that complicated. And so if I run this, um, we should first off get in the console down here, the list of, um, yeah, there they are here. So if I scroll up, you see we start with, I had to print JSON work. And then, you know, the first president, what number president he was, his image, and the next, and so on. So that worked very well. So now let's see if I click on show image. There you go, it shows um, Clinton. So it must have been zero, which here if I hit it again, you'll see, yeah, zero was, let's hit it again until we get a different one. There we go, one came up this time. Um, so it's just a random number. Uh, one came up again, one again, zero. All right, so it'll go back and forth. So it works perfect, this is, uh, this is great. Um, I hope you find this useful and let me know um, if you have any questions. Thanks.